Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me in another video. For today's 12 days of Christmas, I'm going to be showing you how to make these five simple DIY gift ideas just in case you've got a little something extra to get somebody for Christmas. So yeah, let's just jump, jump right in. So we're going to start off with a nice body butter and for this you'll need cocoa butter, coconut oil, beeswax and some essential oils. All of these you can find at most supermarkets. So for your body butter, what you're going to need first of all is coconut oil. You will need pure, unrefined, 100% um, natural, organic coconut oil. And you want to use two tablespoons of that. You then want to add one tablespoon of cocoa butter. You can get each of these things off of eBay. And then to that you want to add half a tablespoon of beeswax. Now the pot might look a little bit full when you do this. You might think that it's going to overflow. But when these things are hot they're going to melt and then they're going to combine together and they'll be a lot smaller than what they started off with. So the easiest way to melt these is to put it into a heat proof container first of all. Which, I'm, which is why I'm using this glass jar. And you then want to stick it in the microwave and for 10 second intervals, pop it on for 10 seconds, take it out and mix it together because the beeswax, the coconut oil and the cocoa butter are all going to melt at different temperatures and at different times. So you just want to keep taking it out and stirring it until all of the ingredients have merged together. Once your ingredients are melted together, it's time to add a um, fragrance to your moisturiser. So you can choose to use a fragrance oil or an essential oil. I've chosen to go with lemongrass and you can choose any sort of oils you want. I got mine from eBay. And make sure though that it is a fragrance oil that is safe for the body. You just want to add about 10 to 20 drops of that into your pot and mix that through. So I've left this to dry overnight and this is what it looks like now, it's like completely solid and yellow. Now, excuse this little nail, I broke it, um, I'm very upset about it but I'm going to fix it. Anyway though, so what we need to do now that our um, moisturiser is hard is take a toothpick or a spoon, anything that you don't use and you want to give it a little mix. And this is just to make sure that it stays creamy in the pot. So it is, go it is going to harden at first, but once you give it a little mix, you're going to mix all the ingredients together and then it's going to stay nice and runny and like a, not too runny, a nice thick moisturiser that will be perfect for soothing the skin. You can use any sort of little tub that you want for your lip scrub. So this is the one that I'm going to be using today. The simplest way to make a lip scrub is to use petroleum jelly. This huge tub I got from the pound shop, really easy to come by. And also some sugar. So I'm using granulated sugar in this. You're going to want to take one teaspoon for the size of container and pop that into the bottom. You then want to take the same amount of petroleum jelly, one teaspoon, and pop that into the tub as well. What to do is if you can't get it all in like I've done here, just leave this to the side and grab um, a toothpick or any kind of like wooden stick. You can even use a lollipop stick if you want and just mix the sugar and the petroleum jelly together. And then you want to just take a bit, rub it on the back of your hand and make sure that it's got enough sugar in it. If you feel like it's too rough, you put more petroleum jelly in and if it's too soft, put more sugar in. Now it's completely fine to leave the sugar scrub as it is there, but I want to add a little bit of colour to mine. So I'm going to take some red natural food colour in. Um, food colouring is great to add colour because of course it's natural, it's safe for cakes and bacon so it's going to be safe to put on your lips as well. I'm 
just going to use the fragrance oil now to add a little bit of flavour to the lip balm. Now, you can easily use the um, like food flavourings that you get, exactly like these, they're safe for cakes, you can use a strawberry one. However, I'm going to use the fragrance oil, it is safe on the skin, so it's going to be safe on the lips as well. Um, I'm just going to use a couple of drops, this bottle is almost empty anyway, but just a couple of drops to make it smell quite nice. And again, mix it all in. And now you've got your very own homemade strawberry scented lip scrub. You can now reapply the lid and pop that to the side to put with the rest of your gifts once you're finished. Next up we're going to make some gorgeous water marbled mugs, so for this you're going to need a whole bunch of nail polish that you don't mind wasting, um, a glass bowl full of water and two mugs. First of all you want to take your bowl of water and some of the nail polishes that you've decided to use and just do a couple of spots in the water. Then you want to grab a little cocktail stick and just make any sort of pattern. And then you just want to dip your mug into the water. And this is what it looks like. And then you just want to place that on a little bit of kitchen roll to dry. You can put it on plastic as well. I'm just going to pop this on a little bit of kitchen roll just now and then I'm going to do another pattern for the other side. Now before you start on your next pattern make sure to just take the scum off of the top and again you can just use a cocktail stick for that because the excess nail polish will just stick to the top of the water. This time I'm going to hold, my, this is where the pattern is on this side, I'm going to hold it the other way and do a little pattern like over the handle and the other side of the cup. Yay! It looks so good! This is what the cup looks like, of course you can do it the whole way round if you want but I kind of just like the way that this looks, just like that. Um, I might let it dry and then decide what I want to do, but let's move on to the other one. I'm going to do the other cup different colours. So once your mugs are dry, you can leave them just like this and you can wrap them up um, in some cellophane or just some tissue paper. For this one I've decided to just go with it on one side and the handle and for this one I've left it on this side and then on this side. Um, if you just want to leave them then like that then that is absolutely fine. Or you can add a little hot chocolate mixture and you can pop some whipped cream in the basket with some chocolate and do a nice hot chocolate basket gift set. Just remember to tell whoever it is that you're giving this to that they can only wash their, the cups in the sink, they can only hand wash them, the dishwasher would probably take the nail polish off. To make a beautiful infinity bracelet, you're going to need some pliers, you can also use um, some tweezers, you'll need some chain, an infinity symbol along with a lobster clasp or any choice of um, bracelet or necklace closure that you have and some round little silver loops as well. So first of all you want to take your chain and you're going to roughly measure how much you're going to need for your wrist. And obviously bear in mind that you're going to be attaching the infinity symbol in the middle so you're going to need a little bit less. 
and maybe the person that you're giving this to has a smaller or bigger wrist than you so just take all of those things into consideration and once you're ready just want to roughly measure it with your fingers and remove one of the loops from the chain now I am using these little pliers that are from a jewellery kit you can get these from like craft stores and um, you can get them off the internet you can even just use like a pair of tweezers if you want it's really just to enable you to pull the loops apart the first thing we're going to do is attach the infinity symbol to the chain i've already done it on this side so i'm now going to show you how to do this side it's exactly the same for both sides so you want to take your little hoop like so and you want to open it using your pliers now you can get the pliers at a craft store like i said or you can just use tweezers for this once it's open you want to loop that on the chain and then onto the infinity symbol so like that and then you want to close the hoop off so it's nice and secure and the bracelet's not going to fall off like that and now that the infinity symbol is on, you want to make sure that we can find the middle of the bracelet to attach the little clip. The best way to find the middle is just to pull both ends of the bracelet, shows that where the infinity symbol is sitting, and then chop one of these loops, like so. I'm going to choose this one here. And what you want to do is just open it, just like you opened the chain initially to measure it against your wrist. once it's opened remove the little bit of chain from one side you want to add your lobster clasp or whatever enclosure you've decided to go with close the chain up again using your pliers and then you want to add a little hoop that we used before again open that up and add that onto the other side like so and then to add your little charm, I've just chosen to go with this little butterfly that says created for you. You want to take another loop just like we've been using to attach the infinity and this little loop at the end. You want to open that up using the pliers, pop the little butterfly charm on and you can add this anywhere that you want. I like to add it on the last loop though just so that it falls behind the arm so that it's got something a little bit extra to it when they close the bracelet. And now that is simply the bracelet complete. You can just close it off and wrap it in some really pretty tissue paper and you have made your friend, your mum, your sister a really pretty bracelet. To make a cute little date jar for your partner, you'll need some pretty cardboard, some white card, some ribbon and a glass container of your choice. So you just want to take your card and your pen and write out any sort of dates that you and your partner would find fun. Once you're done writing everything out, you just want to cut all of your date ideas out. You then want to fold your little dates up and pop them in the jar.
to decorate I'm going to do a little handmade gift tag so I've got this little book here um, I think this, I got this from like Hobby Craft and this is a really nice paper so I'm going to cut a little gift tag out of here I'm going to flip it on the back side and draw a gift tag sheet You also want to cut out a little tri a rectangle out of your white bit of paper, smaller than the gift tag, and just write whatever you would like on it. This one I'm just going to write date jar. And then I'm just going to take um, my pen and poke a little hole through the top. I'm just going to poke a little hole through the top of the tag. You want to make sure that it is in the middle of the ribbon so that you can now tie this onto the lid of your jar. in any little shape you want. I think I'm going to do a nice big bow and then your partner is going to know exactly what the jar is when they open it on Christmas morning. I really hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope it's given you some handy little tips and hints for some gift ideas if you are running a little bit late and a little bit stressed out with Christmas looming over us. So yeah, please let me know if you enjoyed by giving it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel as well and we'll be doing two more videos before Christmas on Sunday. Leave a little comment letting me know what was your favourite DIY and if you recreate anything, tag me on Instagram. So yeah, if you do subscribe then I guess I will see you tomorrow with another 12 Days of Christmas video. Thanks for watching. Bye!